It's the adventures of Georgia and O'Hare Bear, and we're in episode 8. Well, see you in a minute. Oh, hello again, Mushy Mates. Now, today is it's another day, and today we're going to be taking a look at some Crash Bandicoot games of the past. Whoa! And of course, George, however, will only pretend to be playing some Crash Bandicoot games. And let's go over to George Buxton to see what was going on. Hey George, I'm coming. Oh, okay, no hair. I'm just coming down now. Yeah. Hello George. Oh, hello, no hair bear. So, um, do you have any games that you have upstairs? Uh, yep, I believe I do. Now, I'm going to show you some levels that I played on Crash Bandicoot. Really? Is it any good? Uh, yep, I think it is good. I think it's called Crash Bandicoot 1, then Crash Bandicoot 2, and then finally Crash Bandicoot 3. Oh, that's the trilogy of it, isn't it? Uh, yep. Okay, well, how about we just get Crash Bandicoot and Mighty Rex to join in? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. I'll just go and tell them. Uh, Chloe Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot, can we come up here, please? Oh, okay, mate, we're coming. Yeah, see ya. Hello everybody, I'm Chloe Raccoon. Now, where's my husband gone? Um, isn't he supposed to be with you? Um, yes, I believe so. Crash, where are you? Oh, it's alright Sheila, I'm coming. Hello everybody. Uh, what's going on? Well, I'm just showing the free toys here. I'd like to show you about the Crash Bandicoot games, in which you are famous with. Oh yeah, I know. Well, because... In Crash Bandicoot 1, I have to rescue my long lost girlfriend uh, before Chloe Raccoon gets. Before Chloe. Before I met Chloe Raccoon since, um. Series 4, Episode 2. Isn't it, my Sheila? Yeah, of course it is. Although I did say Sheila? Sheila? Like that. Well, I'm sure you, I didn't mean to call you Sheila. Well, that's alright. You didn't mean it. Why don't you come and sit next to me? to the famous bandicoot that I know. Yeah, good idea. But before we do, <laughs> would you like to have a bit of a kiss on the paw for luck? Oh yes, please. I'd like to have a kiss on the hand from a famous bandicoot. Oh, all right, here we go. Well, I'm not gonna watch, so I'm gonna close my eyes for this one. Oh, you really are a famous bandicoot. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> oh, George, how dare you throw up on me? Alright, that's it. I'm gonna have to deal with you after you show me some Crash Bandicoot games. Alright, now, Hair Bear. Right, come back, come sit back down now. Chloe Rax and Crash Bandicoot. Right, what game should we play first? Seeing as I'm the famous one around here. Well, first of all, Crash Bandicoot, I'm going to show you the first two Crash Bandicoot levels. Start with you. Okay then, take it away then, George. Okay, I will. I've got a game controller ready, but this is only just a pretend one. Let's have a go. <coughs> right, so here we so here we go then, Crash. Uh, we're going to play the very first Crash Bandicoot game. It's called Crash Bandicoot. Oh, this is going to be a bit exciting. Oh, it's a bit like taking a look back at some of the greatest games, isn't it, mate? Uh, yeah, that's right, Crash. Oh, and that Sony Computer Entertainment era presents, uh, yeah, that's right, <coughs> a Universal Interactive Studios. Yeah, that's damn right. Oh, and there's one of the original creations, and it's called Naughty Dog. Oh, and there's the paw print flying away, splabs into the logo, and there's a dog who's being naughty, like woof woof. Oh, and there you are, Crash, coming into the screen, and then there's a screen, and then the title appears, like this. So, um, what are we going to do first? Well, we're gonna, just going to start the game, well, obviously. Right, we're just going to play one level, Crash. 
and that's Ed Sanity Beach. Right, so here we go then. Well, there you are, Crush, looking and stranded on the beach. I thought you first done a spin attack. <clears throat> okay, you go, George. Yes, I got an edge to Come on, Crush. Come on, you big bully. Let's get those crates. Yeah. Ooh, you've got six, seven, seven rubber fruits. Oh, uh, oh, and why did you stop? Oh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm just a bit rusty at playing Crash Bandicoot, and I haven't played it for a long time. Have you not? Uh, no. Anyway, what do you think of those Wumper Fruits, then, mate? Wumper Fruits? Wumper Fruits? Hmm, what is Wumper Fruit, then, Crash? Wumper Fruits are an important fruit to all Bandicoots, and I, if I collect uh, 100 of them, you, I get an extra life. Oh, I see. I wonder, what's the uh, mask thing then? That is Aku Aku, my trusty friend who's trying to protect me from bad enemies as much as anybody could. Oh, and um, there you are, Crash, doing the spin attack on the um, crates. Ooh, that is very exciting. <coughs> yeah, that's right, mate. Oh, and uh, you've made it to the checkpoint then, George. Well done, my old mate. Ah, oh, thank you, George. Thank you, no hair bear. Ah, right, so, um, are you gonna fall? Uh, not really. Not really, no hair bear, because I'm very good at Crash Bandicoot games, even though I haven't played it for a very long time now. Oh, I see. So, um, you've got two ways then, George. Which way are you gonna go? Oh, you're totally right, are you? Well, oh, well, what are you up to, boy? Yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, let's just uh, get on with it, shall we? Oh, and there's a crap well, crate. Just be careful you don't fall off, George. I won't, because I've been playing it over the years. Oh, and you made it. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, and you're going back down again. Uh, George, why are you going back down? Uh, but you see no hair bear, because I just wanted to check to see if there's any crates missing. Oh, I see. Are you going to do it again? Uh, well, we'll just see. Anyway, I'm just coming back down just, just to check to see if I've done any two ways. Well, you're back here again then. Right, let's just go over the game. Yeah, good idea. Now, anyway, are you nearly finished with the uh, first level yet? Because I think we're just about to play Crush Bandicoot 2 next. Well, we'll just get to that in just a minute. Anyway, let's check to see how many crates have I got or have I missed. Three boxes? You suck at this! <laughs> You rubbish you are! <laughs> oh, I'll get you, no hair bear. After we uh, played Crash Bandicoot 2, of course. Well, anyway, there's the PlayStation logo this time. Oh yeah, that is very strange, isn't it? Anyway, here's Crash Bandicoot 2 now, and here's the intro. Take it away, Akawaku. Sony Computer at a Time in Europe presents... A Universal Interactive Studios production. A game created and developed by Naughty Dog. Hey, how come you sound like Kaku Aku? Oh, because I've been mimicking him. Oh, and there's you, Crash, um, in a jetpack. That's most unusual in a game. Anyway, take it, carry on. Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Oh, and there you are, Crash, going into the first level. What level is it? Uh, I believe, mate, it's called Turtle Woods. Turtle Woods? Hmm. Well, I've heard of Vonka Woods, but never a Turtle Woods. Hmm. What a little rubbish. Anyway, you might like this level. Oh, and uh, George, however, is just playing the first level of Crash Bandicoot 2 now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go, George. You could do it, mate. I hope you could get it up to a crystal and gem set. Oh, okay, no hair bear. I'll do my best. Oh, and... Are you good at spin attack? Yep, and I also make the sounds, no hair bear. What sound then? Well, you know, the one that goes like this. Hey, where did you go? Oh, I think I've done a ground pound and then something strange happened. Oh, I didn't know there was another way. Hmm, neither did I, no hair bear. Neither did I. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes, I was about to tell you, but... You've never even won a shortcut before. Well, I didn't know either until now. Anyway, are you collecting all the crate? 
like you didn't on the first Crash Bandicoot, because you were very rubbish at this. Uh, excuse me, you head there. I am not that rubbish. Huh. Oh, well, you are to me. Well, I hope you get better at Crash Bandicoot too. Well, alright, no hair bear. I will do my best. Anyway, are you still collecting all the crates? Uh, yep. Oh, I'm just checking to see if there's any crates missing just down there. Alright, I see. Anyway, so, are you going to get back to the level in a minute? Uh, yep. Oh, what's that green thing with just an exclamation mark on there? That, that mate, is the uh, nitro um, launcher or something. Oh, and you've made it to the checkpoint, George. Well, hey! Well, well done, old mate. Ah, oh, thank you, no hair bear. So, uh, what's this, George? That is the bonus left stage. Oh, I've seen one of these before. Oh, when I when you were with me. Uh, yeah, that's right. Because I haven't played uh, Crash Bandicoot Three, which we might show you after I played the first level, of course. Oh, right, I see. Hmm. Right. Uh, uh, Crash. Uh, yes, mate. Do Bandicoot? I'm good. Bandicoot's good at swimming. Uh, yes, mate. But uh, this one, however, does. Only in a mud, though. Oh, you look like one of those lovely ladies, then. Lovely ladies? How dare you? Oh, that's it. I just have to peck you for that. Oh, no. Don't you dare. Ow, 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 ow. Wait, stop it, stop it, stop it. George, can you pause the game for a minute? Uh, sorry, no hair bear. I can't. I'm just playing Crash Bandicoot 2. Well, if you can't deal with him, well... I'll just have to deal with you at the end of this episode. Oh, alright. Uh, let me just finish the level first. Oh, alright. Anyway. Oh, oh, are you nearly finished, George? Uh, yes, no hair. Oh, and I see you saw the um, perfect gem. That means you got all of them. Well, that was very good, George. Well done, mate. I'm very proud of you. Ah, oh, thank you, no hair. Bear. There's the crystal and then the silver gem. Next game. What's the next game then, George? I believe, no hair bear, it's called Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Anyway, we'll just let the intro speak to itself. Um, take it away, Aku Aku, once again. Sony Computer Entertainment Europe presents a Universal Interactive Studios production. A game created and developed. But Naughty Dog! Crash Bandicoot 4! Well, here we are then, mate. The old warp room. Oh, the warp room. So what level are you going to choose then, George? Uh, Toad Village, I think. Toad Village? Well, I've heard of Toad Hall from Wind in the Willows, but never a Toad Village. Strange. Well, you might like this one, mate, because this is a better quality this time of the gameplay itself. Oh, I see. And, uh, go, George, go, my old mate. Ah, oh, thank you, no hair bear. Oh, and I see you're collecting all the crates, then. Uh, yep, that's right. Just to get a crystal and gem set. All right. Anyway, go, George, go. 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 Thank, oh, thank you, you guys. <sighs> I'll do my best. Yeah, come on then. You come on, Crash. Let's defeat that big, great, ugly toad over here. Yes, I knew I could do it. Woohoo! Well, this is exciting. Oh, Crash, look out for the. Oh, oh, that's phew. I was close. Ah, so I see you're going on to the bonus stage now then, George. Uh, yes, uh, no hair bear. Uh, we are now onto the bonus stage, but this time on top of the castle. Oh, but Crash Bandicoot doesn't normally go into castle. Well, only in Warped it is, he can. Because that is an exciting game and it's the best one ever out of a trilogy. <coughs> but does that mean that Crash Bandicoot 3 is going to be part of Crash Bandicoot? And say trilogy. 
Yeah, that's right, which is just coming up on 30th of June 2017. Oh, and as I see you've collected all the crates from the bonus stage. Well, I hope you get lucky now. Yeah, I hope I do know her there. I hope I do. Well, here we go then. Well, let's defeat that great big toad. And here it is. He's all gone. Hmm. Well, let's hope you don't miss out on one fruit then, uh, George. Well, I hope I don't. Because, um, you see, uh, well, you see, uh, George, in the Crash Bandicoot game, you can collect as many Wumpa Fruits as you can. As long as you can give me 99 Wumpa Fruit, that I get an extra lie. Oh, a ski. Oh, two more crates, George, and then you're in it. And then you're out of here. Oh, and you got perfect. Oh, goodbye, Crash. See you back at the warp room. Hmm, it's got a bit blank. It? Oh, here you are, Crash. Well, at least you've got the perfect gem and the crystal. Well, uh, what do you do after that? Well, I do the victory dance like this. Oh, that is very strange. You know, doing a victory dance? What a lot of rubbish. Anyway, the next game on the PlayStation, and that would be the personal favourite of mine, Crash Team Racing, which is just coming up in just a moment away. Oh, all right then. Hmm, well, where's the PlayStation logo for a start? But where's the game, George? <sighs> no hair. A game will come on in just a moment. Well, three, two, one, and... Here it is. Well, let the intro speak to itself. Start your engines for a Sony Computer Entertainment Year of Production. in your seatbelts for another multi-door creation. Okay, what, what's happening now? I think that's a check of that like, covering up the screen and there's the loading screen on there. Oh yeah. Oh, when's it coming on? Ah, ah here we go. Oh, anyway, here we are, George. What character did you choose? Well, I chose Crash Bandicoot because he's my favourite character. Oh yeah, three, two, one, and go! Wow, George, look at you! You're best at Crash Team. Oh, are you all right there? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Anyway, let's just get back to me. Uh, oh, uh, George. Uh, y y yes, Crash. Uh, did you know that this that this Crash Bandicoot game? It's the last game to be developed by Naughty Dog. The last game developed to be by Naughty Dog? What? You can't be serious. Look, it's only because just until the Jack and Daxter series in 2001. <sighs> uh, excuse me, George, why do you hate Jack and Daxter? Because, however, Crash Bandicoot is the best game that you could ever play. And those are the best creations. Until... Crash Bandicoot Games gets cancelled uh, on for Naughty Dog after four years. Oh, a shee. Well, let's hope Cory Raku doesn't find out about that in the next game. Well, okay. Well, I'll tell her that after I finish this one, of course. Anyway, let's carry on. Ooh, look at you, George. Look at you go. You're racing ahead now. Uh, yeah. Oh, and why are you on a pirate ship? It's just to get the um, crate full of um, power-ups and weapons. Oh, you missed Cortex. Huh, you call yourself a racer? Uh, I'm the best PlayStation gamer around here, you know. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hmm, I don't think I believed you. Uh, you have to believe me, because I've been playing it for a couple of years now. Oh, oh dear. Are you alright there, George? Yeah, I'm fine. Huh, well, let's hope it doesn't happen again. Oh, and it looks like you're neck and neck with Dr. Cortex now. Yes! And you got Dr. Cortex! Wow, that was very exciting. Well done, George, my old mate. Well, you're nearly fair to prevention, I. So go on, George. Last stretch now, and you're the winner! Well, I knew I could win. Well, anyway, let's get over to the trophy thing now. Oh, who's that? Uh, I believe, uh, Crash, that's one of um, those uh, ladies who was just doing a waving bit and then pointed out the crash 
That's you, by the way. And you're worth a winner. And you want a trophy. Oh, yeah. It's because you want a trophy. Next game, please. Uh, what would that be this time? Is it another game developed by Naughty Dog? Uh, no, no, Hair Bear. I don't think so. <coughs> this time, the last place that you gave to show you is Crash Bash. Wallop ting bang ting a ling a ling a wop 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 wop. Wallop ting bang ting a ling a ling a wop wop. All a lot of rubbish. Anyway, Sony Computer Entertainment in Europe presents a Universal Interactive Studios production. Iracom Development Software. Oh, and Crash Bash! Ooh, that is very exciting. Hmm, what sort of, um, uh, what level are we on now? Uh, I think we're on to Jungle Bash. Really? Oh, we start so then. Hmm, let's see if you can get any better then. Oh, alright, I will. Wish me luck, no hair bear. You have good luck, George. Hmm, you'll need it. Well, let's see if you can get that crate over at the Rilla Room. Oh, yes, you have. Oh, but you already lost. Hmm, uh, uh, no hair bear. Uh, yes, Crash. Uh, did you know that this game was the first ever game after the departure of Naughty Dog. Uh, excuse me, uh, Crash, my husband? Uh, yes, Chloe? I heard that there was a first, um, Crash Bandicoot game after the bit of developed by Naughty Dog, or is it the dub of departure? Uh, I think it was just a finishing of the, uh, Naughty Dog. Oh, no! <gasps> Naughty Dog? Dropped? <laughs> you? Oh, no! I'm gonna have to fade! Catch me, George! Hmm. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Anyway, Chloe was very worried because he... F well, she thinks that Naughty Dog has sacked Crash Bandicoot for nothing just because he's able to move on to the next project. Well, it's alright, Chloe. You can come back up now. Oh, where am I? Well, you just fainted. Uh, I did not faint. Yes, you did. Well, I only slept. Well... Well, you have fainted a bit, just because you thought a Naughty Dog has sacked Crash. <gasps> mm. Oh no, don't faint again, Chloe. Chloe, wake up! Oh, oh dear. Mm. Is Crash Bandicoot still on a PlayStation then? Uh, yes, Chloe. I believe it is. I believe it is. Oh! Oh, and look at you, George! You're very good on Crash Bash anyway! Woohoo! George? You are right, darling. Oh, shucks. Anyway, let's just carry on with the Crash Bash then. Yeah, yeah, go on then, George. Go ahead, my darling. Defeat that bad guy called Cortex and the rest of the bad guys. Go on, George. Go, George. Go, George. <coughs> go, George. Go, George. Go, self. Yeah, go, George. Go, George. Go, self. Go, George. Go, George. Go me. Go me? It's not go me. It's go. Go crash. Oh, sorry, mate. I think I was in Crash Bash at that time. Alright, oh, I see what you mean. Anyway, you're just halfway dead now. Well, just really rude to defeat now. Huh. Well, well, we're just halfway there, aren't we? Yep. Well, one more trophy and then you'll win. <clears throat> yeah, I know. And let's hope I better win. I said not. Oh, and that looks like you were a winner, though, George. <laughs> and it looks like you won a trophy. Well done, old mate. Let's get back to the lounge. Oh, yeah. I was very famous on the PS1 first, before I even moved on to the um, other consoles like GameCube or Xbox. And I am a famous bandicoot. Oh, Crash! You really are a famous bandicoot. It's a good thing I married you. Yeah, of course I am. Aren't I just? Come here, you. Anyway, uh, shall we carry on with the um, games, George? Yeah, that's a good idea. This time, it's the next adventures. So, get ready, viewers. You may see them blowing up. Right, so, um, what's the next game then, uh, George? Well, the next game, however, if we're going to play, uh, that would be Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath 
of cortex. Oh, the wrath of cortex. Oh, this is exciting. Well, there's the Universal Interactive Studios logo. There's a Konami logo. Uh, why would they put Konami onto the game though? Well, because you see it on here there, I think it, the reason why they put Konami in it is just because it's just to make it look like some sort of a classic platform in action. Which is our second game after the departure of Naughty Dog. Oh, George, please don't talk about the Naughty Dog departure. Ah, I'll have to fight again, which I'm going to do right now. Sorry, Fields, I'm going to have to fight now. Mm. Oh, no, don't fight again. Not like this. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Chloe's was still worried about it. Well, I didn't mean to say about the departure of Naughty Dog. Uh, it's all right, Chloe, you can come back up now. Oh, uh, are you on the next game then, George? Uh, yeah, I believe I am. Hey, have a look at this, Chloe. Oh, yeah, it still looked like a Crash Bandicoot platforming game. Uh, yeah, that's right, mate. I think that's Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. And this is also a bit... Uh, and the first level that we got is Arctic Antics. Arctic Antics? Well, I've heard of, um... Well, I've heard of, um, Crash Bandicoot, but never an Arctic Antics. Not even mashed potato antics. Or the sugar-free butter candies like this. <gasps> no hair! No! <laughs> oh, yes, no hair there. And I do mean it like that. Anyway, we all seem to be very good on Crash Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex as much as the other games that we've just done earlier. Oh, and look at you, <coughs> bouncing on the crates here. And the TNT. Watch out, George, it might blow. Oh, it's a good thing you rolled away. Oh, and there's the ground pound, which is just a slam jump, obviously. Aku Aku Mask again. Well, it's collecting the Wumper Fruits now. Yep, and collecting all the crates, jumping up on the crates again to make sure we got enough Wumper Fruits to last up a long time. Oh, and you've got an extra life, George. Well done. Oh, and you've got another one. Oh, lucky you, Mr. Buxton. Yeah, thank you, no hair bear. Well, I'm going to keep collecting all the Wumper Fruits until I collect some extra lives for Crash. Ah, oh, thank you, mate. Yeah, thank you, George. You're a right darling, you are. Anyway, let me just carry on with the game now, so that I can show you for what I've just played. Okay. Oh, you didn't. You, used, you didn't use a slam jump. You didn't even do that enough, um, just to make it up to lots of crates. You're rubbish. Excuse me, I've been playing Crash Bandicoot before. Not even in a million years I haven't played it. Oh, and you got an extra life for me. Oh, well done, mate. You collected up to 99 or the fruits. Oh, so what are you going to do first then? The bonus stage or that strange thing? Well, I don't know yet, no hair bear. Let me just think about it. I I'm going that way first for a start. So I don't know anything about that. Well, not yet anyway. What do you mean, not yet? Oh, and you've just kicked off a babble. How did you do that? Well, you see, no hair bear. Uh, I didn't know I'd done a mammal mammoth thing before. It was, why are you doing the slide jumps all of a sudden? It, that means I just can't wait just to get into the bonus stage. Well, you have to be patient then, Mr. Buxton. Normally, you're always patient. Uh, yeah, I know, no hair bear. But today, since I'm only showing you guys some of the Crash Bandicoot games quickly, well, I just thought, hey, I just thought I'd show you guys some of the Crash Bandicoot games, with which I'm doing just now. Hey, George, you really are getting very good at this. Well, you're a right darling for that. Ah, oh, thank you, Chloe. Well, although you're still my ex-darling. Ex-darling? Ex-darling? How dare you? Right, I'm going to have to deal with you by the time I finish playing with this game. Oh, well, and you got an extra life, George. Well done. Uh, excuse me. Uh, George, uh, what's happening now? I think that's the uh, collecting all the coloured gems, and hopefully I should be able to collect the um, one of the coloured gems that are only to be used um, during this game. Oh, and why are you skating like that? Well, you see, no hair there. It's because I thought bandicoots are very good at ice skating. Well, excuse me, 
I'm never good on ice skates. I only did that just to be in the game. Oh, right. Whoops. Yeah, sorry about that, uh, Crash. Oh, that's alright, George. You didn't mean it. Oh, and you've lost Aku Aku. Well, it's alright, Crash. Aku Aku is still there. Oh, and now you've lost Aku Aku all of a sudden. Ah, oh, what's wrong with you? Well, I don't know, Crash. Hmm. Oh, and it looks like you exploderated. Hey, at least you got the coloured gem, though. Well, well done you. Now, let's just continue from where we left off, then. Yeah, seeing as you've got the coloured gem. Yeah, good idea. Oh, and you're collecting the wonder fruits again. We're back to where we started, mate. Hmm, what are you going to do about now? Well, I'm afraid I have to collect all of those Wampa crates again. Oh no, not this again. Ah, you done, I've already done the Mammoth Fate earlier. Oh, you're a right donut you are. <gasps> Me? A donut? How dare you? Anyway, um, well, just a couple of, well, couple of, couple of, couple of Wampa fruits left now, and then you'll get some extra lives dead. Oh, and you already have. Well, well done you. Oh, thanks, Crash. I knew you're a famous character already. Hmm, same green thing. And look, you've got all enough crates just to get a silver gem. And you're going back to the warp room. Uh, in a minute, of course. Uh, what are you doing, George? Go over to the warp room. Please. No. Well, what are you doing, then? Trying to knock off a mammal, mammoth here. Well, you can't kick off a mammal. This one's very portable, and you've never even done that before. Well, I didn't know that. Anyway, you... Ah, oh, finally! George Andrew Buxton, you're very slow at this. Hmm, you need exercise, you big fat boy. <gasps> big fat boy? How dare you! Anyway, uh, enough of that. Let's get on to the next game, then. Uh, what's the next game, then, this time? Well, the next game is called Crash Nitro Kart. Universal Interactive presents a turbocharged extravaganza by Vicarious Visions! Brace yourself for Crash Nitro Kart! Okay then, uh, George, shall we skip the intro? Uh, not yet, no hair there. Let me just see what Crash and Coco and Crunch are look like now, as if they're now good guys. Oh, alright then. Well, that's you, Crash, sleeping away as you always do in the game. And what's Coco up to now? Well, that computer work, mate. Our desk crunch bandicoot. Well, he used to be a good bad guy just to get rid of me, and now he has change of heart. Oh, uh, and George, you, you chosen Team Bandicoot. Why did you choose Team Bandicoot for? Yeah, because you see, uh, no hair bear, because it's all got crunch. Coco and cr you, Crash, obviously. Oh, I see. So, um, can we get on with the game, then? <sighs> Not yet, no hair bear. Just saving some uh, memory. Just saving on a memory card here. What's a memory card, then? Well, the memory card is some sort of like a, like a card that you can always keep your game safe in. Oh, and uh, what track are we in now? Well, the track that we're in is Inferno Island. What? Is it a bit like Crash Cove, the one that you played earlier? Uh, yep, that's right, no hair bear. It's one of the best tracks ever. Ah, uh, well, I agree with George for once. Oh, a she. Anyway, let's see if you can get better at Crash Nitro Kart this time. Hopefully you'll win this time. Like you did in Crash Team Racing just, just from earlier. Well, here we go then, George. Well, I'm going to wish you luck. Well, good luck, George. Good luck, George. Yeah, good luck, George. Well, thank you, guys. Well, get ready to race. And away we you go. On the way out of Crash Nitro Kart. There's Crash uh, racing away, moving into second place now. 
Oh, and he's doing some special boosting. Way, this is exciting. And he's got a power up, George. What are you going to do to that? Well, I'm thinking about pressing the circle button to, to release a weapon. Oh, yeah. I see. Hmm. Aren't you going to use the weapon, then? Uh, no, no, Heather. I'm just going to do some, um, hang time turbo. Loads of times. Hang time turbo? Well, I never heard such rubbish. Look, just because I never got good, not, the, not got the hang of it, it's just, um, it's just a demonstration, really. But, of course, I'm still playing Crash Nitro Kart, though. So, how many boosts are you, are you up to this time? Well, I'm up to 39 boosts now. Oh, oh, you're very good at this, aren't you, Ben George? Yep, yes, I am, no hair bear. It's just because, um, things do. Oh, and you made it up to 50 boosts. Oh, I don't know. Oh, ah, that was 52 boosts. Well, at least you made it, though. Hmm, I wonder when you're going to use that power up, because I think you're just a long way ahead of, um, type Crunch Bandicoot now. Oh, and Polar. Uh, who is Polar at Crash? Well, Polar is the... It's a, it's a Polar Bear, because he has been around since Crash Bandicoot 2. What? Polar? The bear? For Crash Bandicoot 2? Hmm. Anyway, you're just nearly halfway there. Oh, and it looks like you're the winner, though. And you made it up to 25. Well done, old mate. Well done. Ah, oh, thank you, no hair there. So, um, are we at the, um, term trophy stationarium or something? Uh, yes, no hair bear, I believe I am. Uh, why is the lady screen taking... Ah, here we go. Well, there's you, Crash, doing the victory dance. Except a little... Uh, different. Rather than the one that we you usually do. Anyway, God, aren't you going to press X to continue, George? I'm just getting to that. Oh, anyway, uh... What's the next game then, George? The next game, however, no hair bear, is Crash Twin Sanity. Crash Twin Sanity? Well, uh, what's Crash Twin Sanity then, George? Well, Crash Twin Sanity is a bit like Crash Bandicoot Unlimited. Well, you can only get that in the demo, mate. Oh, I see. Well, uh, in the full versions, though, um, Crash, uh, no hair bear, it's called Crash Twin Sanity. All right. So, what's um, what's the game about? Well, it's about me out oh, and Doctor Cortex. Well, when Cortex tries to get rid of me again, but then he has changed because he has lost his brain. Almost the same thing as me, because my brain is the small size of a pea. Do you remember that from um, series three? Uh, no, series four. Episode 5, when I did tell you that there was a Crash Bandicoot cartoon when I when my brain is a sort of small size of a pea. Oh, and there's Dr. Cortex. What's he up to? I think he's just got frozen over. Oh, there we are. The start screen. Whoa, classic. Now, uh, what are you doing then? Aren't you going to press start? Ah, there you go. Now, uh, what are you doing then, George? Well, I'm just saving the game here. Uh, are you going to overwrite that? Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I'm sure. Because I've been playing Crash Twin Sanity before. Oh, right, I see. Anyway, what level are we on now? Uh, I think we're on to Jungle Bubble. Let Dr. Cortex speak to himself. Dr. Cortex speaks like Coco? <laughs> Look at how, look how ridiculous he is. He was wearing looks like some sort of yellow hair, which is always a bit like your sister. <laughs> and look at him, skipping like a curly. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Anyway, uh, well, you're very good at this game, aren't you? And you always collect those Aku Aku masks for extra protection. But uh, where's the Wumba Fruits? Normally, Wumba Fruits normally came out well, when it was out of a crate. Anyway, we'll let Dr. Cortex speak to himself after this one. Kaboom! It's easy! All too easy. Uh, hang on a minute. 
Don't I recognize his voice? Uh, Crash? Uh, yes, mate. Didn't that voice sound familiar to you? Uh, well, I can't say that I do have. Oh, strange, isn't it, Crash? Uh, yeah, strange, isn't it, Chloe? Yes, yes, little hair bear. It is very strange. Well, if that happens again, well, I'm going to have to faint. Uh, Chloe, I don't want you to faint. Just because Dr. Cortex has tried to get rid of Crash by thinking that Crash was his, was Coco, was Crash's younger sister. Who on earth is Coco? Well, Coco, Bandicoot, mate, is, um, is my younger, smarter sisters that you could wish for. Oh, and, um, between you and me, Chloe, I'm not really a smart Bandicoot. Coco is. And the same with Crunch. Crunch Bandicoot? Well... I never heard of it. Well, Crunch Bandicoot, however, it's like a big creation of Dr. Cortex when he was trying to get rid of me. Because that's why I was famous on the PlayStation myself. Oh, well, that is very exciting. So, um, what are you still doing? Well, I was just trying to get off, get off, get the bombs, uh, just to get near their mouths, uh, Chloe. Oh, I see. Ooh, that is very strange. Um, are you still keeping doing it, uh, just until you made it to the level? Uh, yes, Chloe. Uh, this might take a while. Don't worry, though. It'll be done. Um, are you nearly finished yet? Uh, nearly, Chloe. Ah, here we are. You've got a purple gem. Oh, I don't know why you always do that. Because normally you just um, skip to whatever it is you're doing. Uh, here yeah, I know, Chloe. It is one of the strangest things that has ever happened since I last played Crash to Insanity, so I've never even done that before. Ooh, I see your good old double jumps. Yes, Chloe, because all you have to do is press the X button and then press the X button again while in the air to do a double jump. So that's why how I learned how to do it, do it. Oh, I see. Well, you really are very good at this. And you're my best, um, uh, and you're my best darling now. Ah, oh, shucks. Anyway, uh, what are you going to do to that uh, brown man? Well, I think I had... Uh, all I did was just a slight jump on him. Well, almost. Anyway, uh, would you like to carry on with the game, uh, uh, George? Oh, all right then. Anyway, well, you're collecting all the wonder fruits again. Hmm, I wonder what's going on. <sighs> and you've made it to a checkpoint. Uh, why are you stopped, George? Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so what are you going to do about the Wumper Fruits? I'm not worried about that right now, no hair bear. I just want to get the, um... Oh, where did that brown man go? Oh, and there's Dr. Cortex. Why do you look like a girly? Uh, what's this? Press circle button to slam when jumping. Strange. It's true. Blondes do have more fun. Uh, is that true, Crash? Do blots have more fun? Uh, yes mate, because Crash, or because Coco, you see, she was my sister, and she's blonde. Oh, I see. Oh, and the same with my long-lost girlfriend, and the same with my long-lost girlfriend called Torna. She's blonde as well. So blondes do have more fun than me, you know, because I don't have any hair. Oh, I see. Ah! Oh no! It's the... It's the Christ monster! Help! Help! Somebody help me! Help! 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 Uh, it's alright. Uh, it's alright, no hair bear. Uh, I only did that. It's just because I've never even done that before, either. So, um, uh, what are you gonna... What are you gonna do now, then? Well, I was thinking about carrying on. Uh, aren't you gonna press the circle button when jumping? Uh, I'm not sure how to do it yet. But, don't worry, but... <gasps> oh, don't worry, though. At least I'll still get better. Ah, oh, there you go. Now, yeah, 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 you just jump on that. <gasps> well, yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Yeah, because, um, <clears throat> due to my voice, it's just because I've got hiccups a bit. Anyway, I think my hiccups are gone now. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Oh, how did you walk up on water? Get out of there. Oh, well, at least you're back on the top, so that's good. <clears throat> anyway. Well, the tree, yeah, oh, and 
jump on the uh, de detonator crate. Detonator? What's that? Well, <clears throat> it's like some sort of, um, like a stick thing that you can only handle with. Oh, and what's um, Cortex up to? Watch out, Cortex! <laughs> looks like you, looks like Cortex has broken his fall. <laughs> well, what, what are you going to do now then? I hope you don't fall in. Ah, right. Oh, wait, there's a scum. Well, let's speak to us. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you. I've been doing this for ten stinking years. Back and forward, back and forward. And I'm sick of this. Well, I'm not going to do it no more. Ooh, what a bossy skunk. It's ten years of a skunk. Huh, what a lot of rubbish. <laughs> anyway, uh. What's the next game then, George? Uh, I think the next game may be the last because I I'm can't I didn't bring the rest of the games down because it might take long. Oh, that's, that's not fair. Oh, don't worry though. At least we got a Crash Tag Team Racing to look forward to though. Uh, what's Crash Tag Team Racing? Well, Crash Tag Team Racing it's like some sort of a it's a mixture of platforming and racing. Oh, two genres. In one place. Very strange. Hmm. What happens if you did the um, burp and farting effect? Uh, no. I am not doing that because, you know, my dad. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Anyway, uh, are you still going to do the burping and farting effects? Uh, no. I am not doing that. You know, my dad. Yeah. Well,. He used to saw me playing Crash Tag Team Racing when I pressed the X button for burp and the triangle button for farting because I'm not doing that. And besides, my dad already thought that I did the burping and farting at the same time. But I didn't do that, really. Uh, you used to do that. Well, and you might have done it now. Uh, no I didn't. Uh, yes you did, George. No I didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Didn't, did, didn't, did, didn't, did, didn't. Stop arguing. No hair bear. No. Oh, come on, please. No. Please stop arguing. No. Come on. No. Please. So all you ever say is no, no, no. No. <laughs> anyway. Well, are we getting into the racing bit now? Uh, yes, no hair bear. We're on to the racing bit now. Because I think that's called tag team racing. Hmm. I wonder what happens if you clash with other vehicles. Yeah. Uh, Crash, do you know anything about clashing? Because, I mean, you used to do that on the PS2, you know. Uh, well, you see, uh, mate, it's because uh, if you press the triangle button, you'll see yourself getting electrocuted. And also, and also um, if you uh, get near a vehicle, you clash up with other friends and foes. Oh, yeah. What, like your sister? Uh, yes, but of course, uh, George has already chosen a fast lap so he can get the best time uh, only to win the goal. So I know he's not very good on fast laps, are you, mate? Uh, no, 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 Crash, I don't think I am. <coughs> but sometimes I'm very good only when it's easy. Oh, and you seem very good on the tag team racing bit. Hmm, what prizes are you going to win? Uh, I think in the tag team racing, we normally just win. Uh, either one or two power crystals. Ah, what's more? Ah, but it's just to trade some uh, for, for prizes like cards. And, oh look, you've beaten a new record. Ah, well done, old mate. Anyway, let's get back to the lounge. Yeah, good idea, mate. Let's go back to the lounge. Oh, George, did you do that? No, I didn't. You did, you smelly boy. <gasps> all right, that's all the Crash games that I can show you now, you, you three guys. Ah, thanks George for showing me the games. I'm pretty sure in the next episode that you will show me, oh, and Chloe Racken here, the dioramas uh, and gags. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. I could do that in the next episode. Can you, George? Uh, yep, sure can. You're famous after all. Oh, thank you. I think we'll be doing that in the next episode. Well, goodbye everyone.
Yeah, goodbye, everyone. Come on, then, my beautiful Sheila. Yeah. Let's carry you. <laughs> oh, Crash Bandit. You really are famous. Well, did you enjoy the um, games that I've just shown you? Uh, yep, I, yep, I enjoyed that. Thanks for showing me that. Uh, why are you showing me these games for? Well, you see, because it's just to celebrate the 20th, 25th, 20th anniversary of Crash Bandicoot. 20 years? Nobody said anything about Crash Bandicoot getting 20 years older. Well, I know, um, I know the game when it first came out in 1996 before, uh, well, after come up yet. Oh yeah. Hmm. Anyway, I right, I could do with you now. As a little promise. Right, I'm gonna do that the same thing to you. Oh no. Not again. Ow ow help help call the police call the lifeguard. Call out Crunch Bandicoot. Oh, oh, help me. oh ow 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 to be here, not to be here. Oi! Oi! Look what you've done. Well, that's what you get. Right, that's it. I'm going to get the ice cream roll. Won't be a moment. Hey, you can't give me an ice cream roll. You've already done that trick from the last couple of episodes. Ah, there you go, good. Oh, what's this? Is it like an ice lolly or something? Uh, yeah, I believe it is. And since it's such a hot day today, would you like to have an ice cream? Ah, oh, thank you, no Heather. What would I do without you? Right. Oh, Alright. <laughs> this will make a fool out of it. <laughs> Alright, okay then, good. Thank you. Okay then. Okay then. Mmm, very nice. What flavour is it? Uh, it's chocolate. Chocolate? Mmm, I love it. Oh, no hair. You dirty boy. <laughs> uh oh, I think I'm going to have to switch something out. Uh, excuse me a minute, dude. Oh, yucky. Oh, no hair there? Come back up here, Miss Minute. Hello, George. What is it, George? Did you just squirt me from that pistol thing again? No. Uh, I think it might be Teddy the Porky. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, no, Heather. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No. Alright, well, if that's the case, then I'm going to squirt you this time. Oh, no. Don't you dare. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Ah, oh, I'm all wet now. April Fools again. <laughs> no hair. Ah. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm going to do it to you, man. Oh no! Please don't do this to me. You know, you know, you normally don't do this to me. Oh, don't you dare. Ah, oh, I'm all wet now. Oh, you dirty boy! Ah, oh, that's it. I'm going to deal with you again. Oh, again! Oh, 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 that's disgusting. Oh, and I'm all wet now. Oh, I'll have to get myself changed in a minute. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll be back in the next episode where we will show Crash Mud and Chloe Raccoon the Crash Dioramas and Gas. See you next time.